Communication. How do you communicate with people? Let me ask you something. Would you like to be a better communicator? Would you like to be a better teacher? Would you like to be a better speaker? It's been proven that you can improve a speaker or a teacher by 50% by doing four things. Number one, sit up straight. Number two, put your feet flat on the floor. Number three, put your eyes on the speaker and turn the phones off. And number four, when the speaker says something you agree with, smile. Or it's okay to say amen every once in a while. And if you do those four things, you'll be amazed at how much better your teacher becomes as far as being a communicator. I don't want to leave the quality of communication without telling you a story that I learned when I was working with Zig Ziglar. We used to have these seminars in Dallas on being better people, how to become a better person. And during the course of these seminars, you would break into small groups. And in these small groups, you would have a group leader. And at the end of the 20 minute discussion or whatever you were talking about, you would give the leader a note. And it would say, I appreciate Josh because, and then you would write something sincere and honest and give it to the leader. And then you change leaders every time you change groups. Well, it was interesting to me because you never, when we had to clean up in the evenings after everybody left, nobody ever left those notes laying around. Everybody took those notes with them. We had a group of eight people that went out to eat at a really nice restaurant there in Dallas. And they came back the next day and they were telling this story. They were talking about that they went to this really fancy restaurant to eat and they had the best waiter that you could ever have. And the guy was just awesome. He was there when you needed it, but he wasn't there all the time. He was just perfect. So when they got through, they left him a 25% tip. A lot of money, a place like that. Then they decided to take what they had learned that day and each one of them wrote him a note. And it said, I appreciate his name. And then they wrote why they appreciate him. And they were honest and they were sincere. And they said they were leaving and said, the guy come running out of the restaurant and he yelled at him and he stopped him. And said he got up there and he had those eight notes in his hand. And said he broke down. So I've been a waiter here for 22 years. It's the nicest thing anybody's ever done to me. He did not mention the money. He didn't mention the tip. The communication. The communication. How did they communicate? The question I've always thought about that wasn't asked. How would you like to have been the next table he waited on? <laughs> Did they improve his skills, do you think? How do you think they improved his skills? They communicated what he had done correctly. Should we do that? Sure, that's part of communication. If your teacher does a great job, write them a note. Tell them you appreciate them. If your parents are doing something great for you, write them a note. Write a note to someone this week. I used to think, and I still believe, every Wednesday, everybody ought to take the time to write a note to someone and tell them how much they thank them for what they're doing. That's communication.